Hey nieces and nephews, it's Uncle Chris, and I just got back from the grocery store. I did a $110 grocery haul. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, you don't know that I do the food pantry. I also show how to cook from the food pantry. That's how I supplement my food budget. Now, for you nieces and nephews that do know, I'm going to show you what $110 does get you from the grocery store. Come on, let's take a look. We're going to start from the left to the right. All right. Now, they were having a sale, so I got, hopefully, most of the things on sale. I got some cornbread stuffing mix because I got people coming over, namely Christina and my nephew and the rest of the family. And they like this, so we're going to have that for them. I also got some mashed potatoes, instant, because I just did not feel like boiling the potatoes tonight. That, that, that's not happening. <laughs> I got some dark brown sugar. Yes. And I got a pack of regular white sugar. Brown sugar is much better for you. Trust me on that. Then I got some sodium-free. You all have got to get this. Some sodium-free chicken bouillon. I got three of those. And I got sodium-free beef bouillon. Because soup season is upon us. Ah, my favorite time of year. I just cannot wait. And these are going to get used. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you all how to make some good soups with that. And guess what? Low to sodium-free. That's right. Now, I got also some much-needed onion powder. I got a big one of these. I always try to buy in bulk. And I got a big garlic powder. Then I got three onions, red onions. I love those on a salad. I got four avocados. This one isn't ripe yet, but that'll be for future use. These two are ready, and this one's ready too. Then I got two heads of garlic. Oh, that's going to come in handy for our soup. You know what? I love avocado on my scrambled eggs or my omelet instead of sausage or bacon try avocado very filling very tasty let's jump over here i got a huge bag of cheddar cheese sharp cheddar cheese because of course i'm going to be making some macaroni and cheese i'm going to be making some quiche all kind of things for the uh, fall season and halloween coming up Ooh, yes I got two things of, um, excuse me, I got one container of spring water. Then, of course, it being the season, I got a gallon of apple cider. Oh, you ever warm this up on a cold autumn day or a cool day? Oh, yes. Sit outside and just enjoy the weather. Oh, oh, oh. excuse my case. Mm -mm. Look at this. American cheese singles. I got some of these on sale. I think they were a dollar ninety nine. I think so. Yeah, dollar ninety nine. Now, I got some smoked sausage. I'm gonna use this from a hot sauce soup. I got the regular, the smoked sausage, and I got the four pepper smoked sausage. Miss Shy downstairs calling out. Shy, what you doing? Shy is the cat for those of you who don't know. All right. We got some sweet potatoes. I got two cans of that because tonight I'm going to do a bit of a soul food buffet. Big cans. I'm going to do some candied yams for them, okay? Then I got these were on sale for $2.99 a pound. Pork steaks. So I got four of them. And 30 cents. I don't think that's bad. And over here, they had pork chops on sale, assorted ones in the family pack, for $1.39 a pound. I paid $4.96 for this pack. I paid $6.27 for this one. And I paid $4.91 for this one. So, I've got plenty to use. These will be for smothered. Uh, no, these will be used for 
some of the soups and things coming up. These will be used for smothered pork chops. These will be used for some more soups. And I can use these for some casseroles. That's how you spread your budget. Oh, yes. Now, it may not seem like a lot, and it really isn't a whole lot, because back in the day, $110 would get you a cart full of groceries. That was back in the 70s. <clears throat> Don't do the math. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not telling my age. Anyway, that's why you got to go and supplement. Don't be afraid to reach out to a food pantry. Don't be afraid to reach out to me. Now, I'm going to show you some meals that will help stretch that budget and some great soup ideas that make a meal. Soup and sandwich, I tell you, if I had a restaurant, that would be the name of it. Soup and sandwich, my favorite meal, especially at this time of year, fall. Mm. Oh, and I'm going to show you the Halloween items I got for Halloween. <laughs> I did really good this year, and I think you're going to love what we're going to make. So I'm going to make a really big prop. And it'll be inexpensive because I saw how much the real thing costs and I'm going to recreate it. All right. I want you guys to write to me at Uncle Chris, the food pantry chef at gmail.com. And I also want you to like. I also want you to comment. And I want you to subscribe. Okay. Have you not subscribed yet? Come on. Also, please donate to the GoFundMe. Uh, it'll be the link down in the description below. We need to save the Uncle Chris house, nieces and nephews. I don't care if it's a dollar. Help us out. <laughs> okay. And for those of you, Joe, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if you want me to throw a shout out to you, let me know because I don't know if I should say your name on the show. But please let me know. Everyone who's donated, let me know if you want me to give you a shout out. I would be more than happy to. Okay. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. And I want to say big, big love from Uncle Chris to everyone in our virtual family. All right? All right. Got a food pantry haul coming up. And I also got recipes coming up. And the Halloween haul. Bye-bye.